We're coming to you from London Olympia, the venue of the specialty and fine food fair 2011. And here we've got lots of people coming to this uh, place where they showcase uh, different products and produce coming from their different countries. And of course, the venue is open for everybody to be part of. And part of the uh, programs at this international exhibition is uh, produce coming from Nigeria. And we've got IBPM demonstrating the values and the virtues and of course some of the important produce coming from Nigeria at this very all important international food fair um, exhibition taking place at London Olympia. Very soon we'll be speaking with some of the participants at this food fair who will be telling us their experience, especially those that have come to represent Nigeria at this international food fair. Very soon we'll begin to see them. Don't go away. Right, we're talking about um, empowering the farmers. Like um, Mommy you know, said earlier on. Um, I was given an example of J.O.F. J.O. Fagwego. That, that's a classical example of an empowered farmer. Now, what did he do? When there was a time that um, Nigerian cocoa was having some challenges abroad. And this man came to England. He came to London Community Market to get a space for himself. So he was able to move his cocoa from his farm right to the heart of London. All right? That is empowerment. So nobody can tell him anything. So he was selling in the city of London. Now, then Again, he has some problems again. Nigerian cocoa, I think in New York. What did he do? He went to buy a chocolate factory. So, he will move his beans, convert them to, he's got my massive processing plants in Nigeria, convert them into cocoa butter and all those things that is needed for chocolate factory. So this man will now move his cocoa convert them, take it to his own factory in the States. That's what I mean by empowering farmers. Yeah, that is the best. Now, how do we now empower these our farmers? Everybody cannot be like JOF, but collectively we can be like him. I'll give an example. Let's say we have a problem with our vegetables. Let's say, for example, and a group of farmers, let's say a thousand farmers, they come together to pull their resources together to get a warehouse in the UK. You know, it's, we are talking about 1,000 farmers now. By the time they put little, little money down, we all know, okay, you need a warehouse, let's say you want to buy it for maybe 300,000, just for an example. So it means each farmer putting 30,000 pounds down can get a space for 300,000 pounds. They've empowered themselves because nobody's going to stop them. They're now going to come here and tell you that this is our product. That's what I, I've been talking about, empowering them. Now, and if they have that, whatever happens in Nigeria, they will still be smiling. Because all of us can say that these countries, you know, um, United Kingdom, Europe, and whatever, they are stable, more than Africa. And we want our farmers to be stable as well, to have stable income. So when I, when I talk about empowering Nigerian farmers, that's what I'm actually talking about. But it doesn't have to be the Obasanjo farms, the Danjuma farms, the Abusalam farms, all right? We can still have the same authority and same power if our peasant, the so-called peasant farmers come together, 10 here, 10 there, 10 here, all over Nigeria, we can pull it. Yes. Exactly. That's the empowerment. There's the 300,000 pound warehouse, as Baba says, an example, but on their own, one man, unless he's suddenly exceedingly rich, it's not going to happen. It needs the empowerment, and that's a cooperative ideology that we subscribe to. Give the empowerment, because I said to them that even with this laudable thing they're doing, after they've left office, how are we going to get continuity? 
because I discovered that government programs are meant for a season. So farmers have been messed around for a long time. But if those farmers that they've arranged today have their contract linked to international market, whatever the government, the farmers will not suffer. So I want people to understand what I'm saying, empowering of the farmers, for our farmers to have stable income. That's my concept I've been talking about. So it, it, it wouldn't matter whatever government it is, all right? So we are now telling them that what we want to do is to get our farmers to have direct contracts with international markets. But they cannot have it right now. Why? Because they are not yet organized. So we want to see how we're going to partner with Wondo State so that we can get them, even if, if what they are producing right now is not of good quality or of high standard, we teach them, we tell them what to do. But what I've discovered is the, the crop in Nigeria, the farmers, they, they grow good products, I mean produce, okay? But when it now comes to handling, like preservation, you know, transportation, we will be coming in to partner with them or we ask the government to provide infrastructures so that those farmers will be able to, to enjoy their labor. So that's what I'm, we, we, we're saying really. Thank you, man. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. I mean, I want people like you to look at Nigeria. I said, this is our dream. Lord, thank you. Because you look back, there's certain things you expect. Well, you guys are not seeing it. But some of us are saying it is possible. You can still see it. And that's why I I'm actually taking my time to attend to you. You know, I mean, when you spoke to me on the phone, you said, you are I said, ha, ah, okay. But it's possible. We are here, I mean, at um, Olympia. It has never happened before. So we are telling the world that we have something good. And if we don't come to places like this, nobody will know that we have anything good. So thank you very much, man. We really like the exhibition. It is a good work and we wish you more success in your endeavor and uh, more grace to your elbow and may the good Lord continue to be with you, empower you, give you long life to be able to achieve your aim. In Jesus' name.